ये गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज आयुष ए के ए कोरिंग फिनिक्स एंड यस आई एम बैक इन द गेम सो यू ऑल मस्ट बी वंडरिंग वेयर आई वाज गोइंग सो आई एम जस्ट सेड दैट माय टर्म वन एग्जाम्स वर गोइंग ऑन और यस आई एम लाइक यू ओनली गाइस सो आई एम लिटिल बिट स्मॉल लाइक 11 इयर्स सो सो आई एम जस्ट से व्हाट विल विल बी डूइंग टुडे व्हाट इज द लास्ट टाइम ओ वन मंथ हो ओ दैट्स स्ट्रेंज Okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, we are just going to start it. So, what we are going to do is a password generator. So, what happens? Like, you just type anything. I D K. I don't I D K. Or uh, he says try including lower case, upper case, and numbers. So, I just did. S. Nine. This. Uh, he says eight. But what I need is just include one more because it's eight. If you check now eight, it will show like ten, which means is good. Okay. Now if you click on generate password, it will show enter the first name or last name. So I did Ayush. Check. Oh, sorry. Yeah, generate password. Okay. uh and one more thing if you don't do anything and click check enter valid password so uh, let's start the thing uh so what you will be doing is first of all you need a uh, column you just put it in the middle now in the column nothing all the same only uh, just the vertical alignment is space around to change and inside the column you have to put it a uh, you have to put a text input text input nothing much here now you need is a label you put it under the text input you name it as password strength score fit contains fill container fit contains fill contains fill container yeah blah 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 <sighs> now you need is a row mm. so these are the row row is fit contains fit container fit contains fit contains here yeah, is all the same no need this so here horizontal alignment this space around so inside the button what you will do is button you can name it as button one check not this one i meant this one this one event not this one So in the text you have to put a button. One is check. Another button to uh, another button you need. In the text uh, it is reset. And yeah, nothing much. Uh, you can name it as button to reset. Next, you need is a button a uh, button generate. Like you can just name it anything. I just wrote button generate. Uh, now you would uh, in the text yeah in the text you have to write generate password. So When you click it, we generate the password ID. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah. A uh, label one score. Uh, this thing score you need. So the score is. Oh yeah, the score is empty. So that's why I can't see it, and you also can't. So why is it empty? Because the score is going to be in it. We we'll name it as label one score. You can name it whatever you want. And finally, a slider. So minimum value one and maximum value ten. Value one, step for one. This is very important. And uh, yeah, this is ninety percent and this is fifty percent. And uh, yeah, this is nothing. You can uh, do this if you want. Uh, red color. This thing. It is two hundred and eight, two twenty seven and one. And uh, this is one twenty six. Two hundred and eleven thirty three one. So ah, uh, let's go to the coding, guys. Hmm. All right. Um. So you must be wondering so much code. Yeah, don't worry. Even I was shocked. So um. So first you to do is initialize a variable password to null. All relation guys you have to do the code by yourselves. 
or you know you get some practice otherwise if i say the, the whole thing then what is the use of you guys you guys will just watch it and do it so i'm not trying to code and uh, design anything that's why i'm doing this uh what you can do is like you can do it by your own i'm just showing the answers you can practice on your own so in delay sub variables slide is code to zero now the thing when button to reset is clicked do set app variable slider score to zero we insert the as slider score to zero so label one scores to text so label one score is which one guys this one in which the label one will come I mean in which the score will come now it will be to app variable slider score so how much ever you do it will come like that set text in period one text to blank it will be blank only yeah never mind set uh, slider one uh, value to uh, zero all right so set slider one's value to zero because it will start from zero uh, this one also you have to do utilize have variable symbols you have to utilize one variable name symbols lowercase string uppercase string and numbers so this one you have to put all the symbols in this you have to put all the lowercase string and in this you have to put all the uppercase string and in this one you have to put all the numbers no need for 10 you can just put 0 so yeah one sec guys <laughs> So yeah, as I was telling, uh, where are we? Yeah, but I'm going to click. Uh, so yeah. Oh my God. So when button one click to set a variable slider score to zero, set slider one's value to zero. So we insert a variable slider score to zero and value also will be zero. Now what you'll do is. You need a if do else block. So in the if you have to take a equals to true first. I mean equals you have to take. In the second one you have to put true. In the first one you have to take first is empty. You have to do text in period once text in the dash which is empty. So set label to text to enter valid password. Else set app variable password to text in period one's text count with i from one to the length of the app variable password by one so we're doing it i from one to the length of app variable password meaning the length of the app variable password is there right so the length so we're going to count it from one like by one step do if if you take equal first and do the so sorry mm, you have to do does contain does contain all right you have to click on does the does you have to do all the lowercase and um, other things and the second one you have to do in text have variable password in text have variable password get letter i change app variable slider score by 2 break out of loop so there's a loop going on right guys so we're going to uh, break out of it oh my gosh yeah. let me just finish this fast so label one score to app variable slider score set slider one's value to app variable slider score count with i from one to the length of app variable password by one do if you have to take again that the same thing you have to do right guys so uh, what you did up uh, and again break out a loop this one uh, i see so see upper one we think is the upper uh, this thing lowercase things second one we are doing is uppercase strings 
third one we are doing is symbols fourth one we are doing is numbers so all are very easy you have to just repeat it now this one is the main one so if sorry you have to take the symbol of this if greater than equals to length of app variable greater than equals to 8 if sorry if length of app variable password equals to uh, greater than or equal to 8 change app variable slider score by 2 else say label 2 text 2 and then minimum 8 letters right if app variable slider score is less than 10 do so label to text to try including lowercase uppercase and numbers so you can mention the symbols also if you want and by symbols i mean special symbols now and set label one scores text to app variable slider score set slider one's value to app variable slider score so you guys uh this thing you know uh, the if the four if all the same only nothing to worry all are the same all right just the thing is different first you have to do lowercase then uppercase and then the special symbols and then the number you can do it in any order you want um yeah yeah leave this So this one will be a little bit here. Yeah, I just delete this. I love how I did it for fun. <laughs> Sorry. When button generate click. So when you click the button generate. Like the generate button that we did. If. Equals to you have to take first. Sorry equals to you have to take. In the second you have to put to row. And in the first one you have to put text input once text this empty. Then you have to do set text input one hint to enter your first or last name. So here we are doing the hint, not the text. Alright. Hmm. So what you will be doing is now set text input one's text to join. So you guys must be wondering why are the five thing, like how to do the five. So you can see this thing now. You can take the item, item and uh, put it here. You do five times. So oh, five times, okay. So, so text in P one text two join in text text in in text sorry in text text inputs one text get substring from letter I sorry one to letter four in text a variable lowercase string get letter random integer from one to twenty-six. In text app variable number get letter random integer from one to ten. In text app variable symbols get num letter random integer from one to ten. In case app variable uppercase string get letter random integer from one to twenty-six. And the thing is over. Hmm. So you guys understood the main thing, right? Yeah. Mm, yep. So that's it, guys. You can put any uh cool background if you want. Just put a simple so that the all these things can be visible. And then you can name it as. You can like name it. I can also you can do. It about to use the map anything you can do you can just name it i just wanted to see you can name it any name you want yeah well never mind so guys i will buy uh, so sorry so guys i will be back in the next video with new amazing things so yeah see you until next time so long friends